through to pick up the daily for this compelling stories. I want to show you lastly what we do have as our picture today from the archives. This is according uh, to, this is actually from our archives, it's not according to anyone, but there you go. Today is August the 14th and of course this day Anglican Bishop Alexander Kipsang Arap Muge Bishop Muge was killed in a road accident on August the 14th, 1990, shortly after making a triumphal visit to Busia town. And maybe just in remembrance of Bishop Alexander Muge, if we may come to you, Dr. Eseli, what would you say about the House, of course, uh, uh, of Parliament right now when it comes to bribery? Because he was very vocal about corruption and malaise maybe in the government. I think, uh, let's call it a house of scandal, eh? Uh, house of scandal. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think we need to really look at this thing because... Bishop uh, Muge. Mm. Yeah, in remembrance of Bishop Muge. Uh, when, when you remember, uh, Bishop Muge was also fight, fighting the issues of corruption at that time and what, what uh, was outright uh, mismanagement of public affairs. Uh, unfortunately, his death was mysterious also because uh, the road accident was questionable. Uh, in fact, every time I pass the place where he died, that's uh, on, the, on the way to Tarbu from Eldoret, mm -hmm. uh, you, you actually get a feeling that something wasn't right uh, the way he died. And the investigators never came up with anything thereafter. So like, just as many of those uh, deaths of prominent people in the country has happened, right. And uh, you notice that uh, even as we speak, something terrible almost happened to the MP for, for Likuyani the other day. And uh, so far, the perpetrators, this doesn't, doesn't seem to be any sign of apprehending the perpetrators of that uh, right, heinous crime. Right, uh, let's hear from uh, Aaron Chiriot, Bishop Muge. How would he have reacted? Well, he was vocal uh, on issues of corruption in the country. Unfortunately, this is one of the things that age uh, does me in on. Uh, I never knew uh, Bishop Alexander Kipsang Muge, but I know of him. I've read about his story. I've read about his uh, biography as well and the kind of stand that he used to have, taking extremely unpopular stands at the time against the tyrants of uh, Kanu and uh, speaking from actually as a as a as a challenging you know and we doing what was considered at the time to be taboo mm -hmm. speaking against what the general public will consider our government but bishop uh, muge on many occasions will put government on notice and uh, stand firm on matters of principle you couldn't uh, uh, question him and therefore he remains to be a motivation uh, right. to any uh, all of us Kenyans right. because let us not forget it you know sometimes I hear Kenyans speak about uh, uh, bribery and you'd think bribery only happens in in Parliament we should condemn corruption from Parliament all the way to to, to even on these streets where when county Ascaris find you uh, having jumped the traffic light you should be willing you know to pay uh, the price of, of of your mistakes and therefore we should not just be people that pay uh, lip service and complain that uh, others are corrupt yet in our own uh, little ways when you're driving uh, home and you do more than uh, the necessary uh, speed limit on a certain sections of the road don't be quick uh, to pay bribe that mm -hmm. is not the kind of uh, society that men like uh, bishop alexander kipsang muge envisioned uh, for us mm -hmm. right let's hear from um Jacob you he hasn't spoken this morning. Welcome. Well, uh, thank you, Dibel. Dibel, I, I think it's a good time to remember uh, the late bishop because yes. I, I think Kenya is seeing uh, good things happening. I think uh, leave for unfortunate events in uh, parliament. Uh, I think we are, uh, and many more other places, mm -hmm. quite frankly. Uh, I, I think the, we are beginning to see uh, that uh, uh, the bishop yes. was, was right in his uh, attempt to check the excesses of uh, impunity mm -hmm. or of government. Yes, uh, I, I, th I think uh, 
it, it, we can only be happy for him. Yes. Except we, we, we still we are saddened that he was killed by forces of impunity. So as we try to fight impunity, uh, we must do it knowing that many of our heroes have died for it. Well, many of our heroes have died. Many of our heroes have died, including JM Karaoke and Kenneth Matiba just passed on the other day. Uh, uh, so it's a good time. It's a good it's, time. It's a good time to do the to do him right. Yeah. But yes, as maybe the history will bears, if we may also look at uh, the story of uh, Bishop Buge, it is that corruption has been backed in the system even since since time immemorial. Isaac Amora. Yeah, I think yes. Uh, but it's good to celebrate, and and, and uh, this is what we need to know about leadership. That um, you know, politicians are for an election, but uh, leaders are for a generation. The reason that we are celebrating um, Kipsang Muge, you know, more than 20 years <laughs> since he died, is because he stood for something. And Kenya is yearning for such kind of leaders. You know, recently in the Senate, uh, where the Solai Dam in the ad hoc committee yes. uh, quoted something that Koigi Amwere had said way back in 1980, mm -hmm. uh, November 12, 1980, about warning about those dams. <laughs> I mean, you can see you will be vindicated over time. But... Um, I, you know, you know, the bar, let me tell you, we may not remember who was the richest person in 1990 or 1991 when Kipsam Muge Alexander was fighting for pluralism, but we remember him today. So he may not have died a rich person, you know, with a lot of property, but for what, for the integrity that he stood for, we remember him. And that, I think that is an inspiration to all of us here and even to Kenyans that we need to you know, aspire to be remembered in such a manner. And, and, and it does not mean that... Um, uh, such leaders then were able to fight the vices that existed then as it were today mm -hmm. but then they spoke against them because just speaking true to power is something that is not uh, does not uh, call for cowards it's actually a call to uh, to, to, to courage just like um, uh, you know Abraham Lincoln say that um, um, keeping silent when you're supposed to speak you it makes cowards of men so I really think uh, Kipsam Muge spoke very boldly and you remember it's good to put this in context he was uh, a Kalenjin, you know, in a, in a Moi government. Yes. You see, that was not expected because then you are com coming from the community of the president, you are supposed to toe the line. So really we must respect him. And that is the time we used to respect the church, you remember. Mm -hmm. Gitaris, Okulus, you know, there are people who would speak and we would know that. In fact, one of them was challenged. I think Henry Okulu was challenged um, by somebody saying that he doesn't have a constituency. And he, he, he aptly, you know, uh, retorted by saying mm -hmm. that the, my constituency is in the hearts of the people. So it's not defined by, by, by the geographical boundaries. Now, these are the people. In, but today, if you hear the church speaking, I'm not very sure the bad people would listen. Because yes. these, these are the same people who uh, we may question their character. Let's question their character. Yeah. Well, interesting allegations there. Let's hear from uh, <laughs> uh, Dr. Otena Molo. Remembering uh, Bishop Muge? Uh, three things. And the uh, fight against corruption. I would say of Bishop Muge. First, is what I've said on this show. Yes. You do not need to be elected to be a leader. Mm. You can be a leader because you stand firm for something and people can see it. Mm -hmm. That's why people like Okulu, Otunga, Muge were leaders, Professor Wangari Madai and others despite uh, his her later election. Secondly, he, yes. mm. Bishop Muge is one of a very rare breed of outstanding religious leaders leaders who it will be very difficult to find in current times leaders who stood firm not just on issues of corruption but also in issues of good governance at the risk of their lives and thirdly it is sad because bishop muges still remains in the annals of history as one of the unresolved deaths in kenya's history mm -hmm. and i think it's unfortunate right Thank you. All right.